maybe a coloring page so you can listen to this story. I'll show you the pictures and I think that this is one that you're really going to enjoy. I know it's a favorite of everyone's. This is the snail and the whale. Do you remember this one from school? It's by Julia Donaldson and Alex Scheffler. The snail and the whale. This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big gray blue humpback whale. Here, this is a rock as black as soot, and this is a snail with an itchy foot. Hmm, what do you think itchy foot means? We know the snail likes to travel and go places. I wonder if it has something to do with that. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. Mm, that might explain a little bit about what it means to have an itchy foot. There's what she's gazing at. Sea and the ship. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, be quiet, don't wiggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sniffed and sighed then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a ride. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, ride wanted around the world. Do you see on the rock how she wrote, ride wanted around the world. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Do you think someone will see her message? Oh my goodness. Look at that. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale immensely long who sang to the snail a wonderful song. Of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tail of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come with me. And look at that. She's getting on the tail of the whale. This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs and far off lands. with fiery mountains and golden sands. From the cold of the north to the warmth of the south. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail on the tail she got splashed by those big waves, but she's hanging on tight. These are the caves beneath the waves where colorful fish with fiery fins, oh, sorry, where colorful fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam past the whale and the snail on his tail. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm. 
with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening the tiny snail on the tail of the lily. Sometimes sunny and blue, sometimes stormy. Hmm, can you make any other connections with that? Do you remember the science video that I put up? I talked about the spring weather. Even here in Blaine and Birch Bay, we get sunny skies that are blue without a cloud and then sometimes some stormy weather. Ooh, this looks like where we live. Look at that. Ocean and mountains, bears and eagles, evergreen trees. Look at that. And she gazed at the sea, the land, the, and she gazed at the sky, the sea, the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then came the day when the whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear splitting roar making him swim too close to the shore. Uh oh what happened? This is the tide slipping away. The whale got confused by all the boat noises. He swam too close to the shore and then the tide went out. You've probably seen that in Birch Bay and in Blaine Harbor and Drayton Harbor. The tide goes out and the sand is exposed. This whale got stuck. What's gonna happen? Do you remember? This is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried, and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight don't talk this is the board as black as soot and this is the snail with the itchy foot do you see the snail can you find him in that picture a snail a snail the teacher turns pale look say the children it's leaving a trail this is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen digging a pool. Look at that, they did some digging, spraying water, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. And this is the tide coming into the bay. And these are the villagers shouting hooray. As the whale and the snail traveled safely away. back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said how time's flown and haven't you grown look at that and the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves 
and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. I think the snail's telling her story. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail. Look at that. Can you see they're all curling on down here? They're all in a line. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the gray blue humpback whale. There you go. a great story. Well, I love that story because it rhymes and I also love it because it tells a story about people helping someone, the whale in this case, and I also love it because that snail listened to her heart and she went off on an adventure when she needed to. And um, I also think it's pretty neat because some of the pictures are like where we live here, like the bay with the tide went out and the sand was exposed and then there was other pictures of the evergreen trees and the eagles and the bears anyways i think this is a really great story i hope you enjoyed it the snail and the whale